the topic of this is aviation's worst nightmares, our most significant weaknesses as a community. And I think most people know that we have a very backwards uh, approach to uh, creating airline pilots, right? So basically what we do is we say, let's take the most inexperienced people and uh, let's make them become teachers. Let's make them because there's no other way they're going to be able to do it unless they happen to. You might be here in Florida and be lucky enough or unlucky enough to fly at Bobby's Landing, which does banner toes and build, you know, some number of uh, of hours per day. But there's nothing that's going to do it quite as fast as being a flight instructor, because you can time out every day if it's busy. You can fly eight hours every, almost if you wanted to every day. So you could, you know, easily do over 100 hours, 100. I, it's hard to do that with a banner toe. It's really tough to do all that or any other thing. You say, oh, I get this opportunity to fly a Pilatus. Well, how often are you going to fly it? Is it going to be like 12 hours a month? It's, if it's going to be 100 hours a month, then go do it. So that's what you can do as a CFI. Otherwise, that's what we're left with. So we're left with this system where we say, I know you don't want to be an instructor or you might want to be for a short time because you really don't know what it's about. But you have to because it's about the only way you're going to be able to get it done. And the rest of the world does not do this. So in Europe, uh, you, you, you start if you start in a, an academy or you start in a, through an approved program, then what will happen is when you're done, you'll have a commercial pilot certificate. Actually, you have a frozen ATP. It's called a frozen ATPL. And what it means is you've taken all the tests, uh, all the written tests are done, all 16 of them have been passed. And by the way, there's over a thousand questions in every single one of those papers. So you don't get to memorize them. So you get to Shepherd Air won't do you any good in Europe. So you have to actually take the physical ground school classes for eight months. And as you do that, you're flying. And then you take an ATP flight test in a multi-engine airplane. And you take a commercial one along the way and a private one and so on and so forth. So by the time you're done, you have about 300 hours but you don't have and you have a multi-engine rating instrument all that but you don't have 1500 hours so you cannot be an atp so you get a frozen atp and what do they do at that point they put you in the right seat of whatever you're going to fly so it's if it's seven three that's where you go it's not going to be usually seven four but it'll be a seven three it could be an embry it could be something like that and the reason for that is who wants one hour of the same experience over and over and over again who wants to in in, in, a, in, a, in a ga environment what does flight instruction help with flying a jet. Okay, a couple things for sure. One is conflict management. You learn how to deal with people and you learn how to strike compromises. You learn how to be tactful because you have to, you have to, that you're going to have that as a CFI. It's going to happen. So, and your first job shouldn't be uh, right from McDonald's in the kitchen where you haven't talked to anybody except for your coworkers, right out to uh, meeting the public and uh, selling yourself and do it. But this is what we got. So the rest of the world, doesn't do this, most of it. And I think they got it right. I believe they got it right because they're not falling out of the sky, crashing. Uh, there have been examples of captains uh, uh, having health issues and the first officers type rated qualified can do it. Okay, very little amount of time, but there you go. You know, pick some something easier, right? Could be. Ooh.